Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about Leopard syndrome. It is formerly known as Noonan syndrome with multiple lentigens. Now, it is a very rare inherited disorder. People with this condition have problems with the skin, head and face, inner ear and heart. The genitals may also be affected. Now, the causes. It is inherited as an autosomal dominant trait. This means that person only needs the abnormal gene from one parent in order to inherit the disease. Now the sign and symptoms. The name leopard stands for the different problems of this disorder. L stands for lentigens. This is the cutaneous pigmentation which is in the form of small dark 1 to 5 mm lentigens which are usually congenital or appear soon after birth. With age, they increase in size, number, and depth of color. They tend to be concentrated around the neck and upper trunk, but may also appear on the skin of the face and the scalp, arms, palms, soles, and also genitalia. Now, E in the leopard stands for electrocardiographic conduction abnormalities. This means there is problem with the electrical and pumping functions of the heart. O stands for ocular hypertelorism. This means eyes are spaced wide apart. Then P is for pulmonary valve stenosis. This means narrowing of the pulmonary heart valve which result in less blood flow to the lung and cause shortness of breath. Now A stands for abnormalities of the genitals such as undescended testicles. Then R stands for retardation of growth or delayed growth. This include bone growth problems of the chest and the spine. And the last D of the leopard stands for deafness. Now hearing loss may vary between mild and severe. So Noonan syndrome with multiple lentigens or leopard syndrome is similar to Noonan syndrome. However, the main symptom that tells apart the two condition is that people with Noonan syndrome with multiple lentigens or leopard syndrome have lentigens, that is skin manifestations. Now the diagnosis, the healthcare provider will perform a physical examination and listen to the heart with a stethoscope. Tests that may be done include ECG and echocardiogram to check the heart, hearing test, CT scan of the brain, skull x-ray, EEG to check the brain's function, blood test to check the certain hormones level and removing a small amount of skin for examination that is skin biopsy. Now symptoms are treated as appropriate, a hearing aid may be needed, hormone treatment may be necessary at the expected time of puberty. This causes the normal changes to occur. Now the laser or cryosurgery or bleaching creams may help lighten some of the brown spots on the skin. Now the possible complications of leopard syndrome may vary and these include deafness, delayed puberty, heart problems and infertility. Now the prevention. Genetic counseling is recommended for people with a family history of leopard syndrome who want to have children. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.